So AI image generators make amazing images that we can put on merch or books and sell on Amazon or Redbubble's Spreadshirt or any other POD site. There are two problems with mid-journey or AI image generated images. One is they come with no transparent background so far. And the other one is they're very small. Mid-journey images tend to be a thousand pixels uh, wide and deep, depending on the aspect ratio, and um, 72 dpi. What you want is something five or four thousand pixels wide and 300 dpi to put on a t-shirt on Amazon On Demand, for example. So I'm going to show you a way of removing a background and vectorizing an image from mid-journey. And I'm going to do both of those things with free tools. We're going to use a site called Clipping Magic to take off the background. That's a free site so far. And we're going to use a site called Vectorizer.ai to vectorize it, which means it puts it into shapes, which can then be blown up to any size you want. And uh, Vectorizer AI is an amazing site and it's free at the moment in beta. And finally, I'm going to show you how in Inkscape you can make sure that you export to it as a PNG with the correct size and at the correct resolution. Hope you enjoy the video. Here is the prompt I've got for Mid Journey. Okay, so t shirt design usually works because it knows what sort of thing that you're looking for that goes onto t shirts. Vector artwork is a great one to put in because we're going to make it into vector artwork. Vector artwork tends to be sharp lines, flat colors, or gradients, but we're going to get rid of the gradient. Kind of cartoony effects, but it can be incredibly detailed. Vivid colors is just something I occasionally put in there to give it vivid colors. White background. That is so we can easily delete the background, which I'll show you how to do. Niji 5 is a mode in Mid Journey that is kind of kawaii, cute, and anime type, and it works very well for sort of kids' t shirts, but also adult t shirts as well. This is the aspect ratio, which is what you need for merch on demand by Amazon. It's only slightly portrait. If you leave it off you get a square and, and that can be just as good as well especially if you're going to put a slogan on the t-shirt as well. This is a negative prompt. We don't want a watermark. They occasionally come with watermarks. If you're asking for t-shirt design sometimes Mid Journey helpfully puts it actually on a t-shirt which isn't helpful at all. And I'm just going to get rid of the blends and the gradients because as you'll see in this video we're turning it into vector and the AI pro program that does that doesn't handle blends or gradients very well. Go into Discord. Here's some I did earlier. They were excellent, but I thought I'd just do some more. And here they come. So let's have a look at them. They all look pretty good. Funny thing happening in the eyes there. I didn't quite like that one. I didn't ask for the tree, but I got one. Uh, that's quite a nice design, quite nice colours. That's quite nice as well. Okay, I don't like that one, but I like all those three. Let's do that one, number two. So we're upscale number two, and we'll download that one. So the first AI powered free site is the one where we will remove the background. So go to clippingmagic.com. I'm incredibly impressed with this. It gives it a go initially and it will probably do it correctly at the first attempt. Ah, it hasn't. So it's very successfully got rid of the background that we wanted, but it's also got rid of the whites of the eyes. So if you were wearing this on a black t-shirt, the whites of the eyes will be black and we don't want that. So what you've got up here is green, which is keep. That's what we we want and the red which is remove so we click on the green tool and we put that in there look it's already done it so now we download and it will say you want to buy a subscription so it can give you the image in the same resolution but the resolution we have from mid journey isn't even good enough to put on a t-shirt anyway so for the moment we don't need a subscription we can just download that, that small preview and the reason it's okay as a small preview is because we're now going to go to vectorizer.ai and this is going to turn that small preview into vector. So it doesn't matter that it's so small. So we'll pick up that image. This is the image of the owl without a background. There it is with a background. You see it's smaller. It's even worse quality. But it doesn't matter because we're putting it into vectorizer.ai 
and that's going to sort out all the jagginess, all the pixelation. And you can just see the result here. It's so impressive. Look how pixelated it is there. And look at the eye. You know, you can go in so far and it will be pin sharp because that's the beauty of Vector. And we'll download that. Now, you can download it as anything you want, really. The PNG maybe won't be the right size in order to get it onto a POD site. I'm going to put it into um, SVG because that's good for Inkscape because I want to show you how to do this in Inkscape, although it's not easy. I would use Illustrator or Affinity Designer to do this much easier, but I want to show you how to do it using free software. So here we are in Inkscape. We'll go open and get a hold of the SVG image. There it is, and it is beautiful and vector and if we wanted to make any changes so if we wanted to get rid of those stars for example so will probably be i'm not very oh, i see it's not as easy as you think it's going to be because it's inkscape can you believe that very difficult just to do the most simple things Okay, I mean, having problems with Inkscape, but I want to show you how to do this. So this is how you get it into the correct size for Merch On Demand, and it will be the correct size for Spreadshirt and Redbubble and everything else. So if you go down here, and this is the last tool on the toolbar on the left, and it's Create and Edit Document Pages. You want Custom, and then you've just got to type in these numbers. And the reason I'm doing this will become clear later on in the video. So there we go. We now obviously want to get that owl. I'm going to command G, which would be object group here, just in case we lose anything. And I'm holding down option or alt, which is very strange. In any other program, it would be shift. But in order to scale it in proportion, that's what you have to do in Inkscape. It's not the most obvious choice, I would say. But anyway, that is more or less centered and it's in proportion. At this point, you can act text if you have a slogan and I would obviously advise you to do that but that would be for another video. Now we're going to export it as a PNG so it'll be okay. Export and as you see there is the size that we keyed in but the DPI is 96 so we want the DPI to be 300 and that puts it up to 4500 by 5400 which is what we want. Give it a title. Ow. PNG. Make sure if it's a PNG export. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. My name's Rob Coven. I'll see you in another video. <laughs>